Today I will show you how to use Mercury Gaming Mice. Let's get started. From left to right, we have a cord, a 1K receiver, an AC extension adapter, a 4K receiver, and a Mercury M1 Pro Gaming Mouse. Insert the 1K receiver into the computer. Move the button towards the left side Wi-Fi icon to activate 2.4G wireless mode, and it's ready to use. Turn on the mouse in 2.4G wireless mode. Connect the C port of the cord to the adapter and plug the 1K receiver into the adapter. You can place the receiver on the desk close to the mouse to resolve issues of signal interruption or delay. Connect the A port of the cord to the computer and the C port to the 4K receiver. When the receiver's blue light is blinking, open the software on the computer and press the spacebar one time to bring up the pairing window. Press the spacebar again to start pairing the 4K dongle. Turn on the mouse's 2.4G mode and press the left, middle, and right buttons simultaneously for 3 seconds to enter pairing mode. Once paired, the software will show a successful pairing message. To switch to 1K, follow the same steps. Move the button at the back towards the right side Bluetooth icon to activate Bluetooth mode. On the computer, click to add a Bluetooth device. Search for the Bluetooth device named Gravastar M1 and click to connect. Once connected, it will display as connected and show the mouse's remaining battery life. Connect the A port of the cord to the computer and the C port to the mouse. The mouse will display a charging light effect while charging. The mouse is preset with 6 DPI levels. Click the DPI button to switch between them. Red for 800, blue for 1200, green for 1600, yellow for 2400, cyan for 3200, and purple for 6400. Open the software and go to the light page where there are six DPI boxes corresponding to the preset levels. Click on a DPI box to switch to that level, indicated by the mouse's light effect. Adjust each DPI level precisely using the plus and minus, or quickly adjust by sliding it. Click the color bar under the DPI value to change the light effect color for that level. Open the software and go to the macro settings page. Click to create a new macro, for example, for the League of Legends champion Lee Sin's R flash move. Click to start recording, press the R and F keys on the keyboard, then stop recording and save the macro. Switch to the custom page, click the key you want to replace, and select the R flash macro from the drop down list. In software, go to the custom page. Key 1 must be retained. For the other 5 keys, click to open the allocation page where you can set them as firepower keys, combination keys, multimedia controls, etc. In the software's light settings page, adjust the brightness of the lights by dragging the slider. 1 is the dimmest, and 10 is the brightest. Adjust the speed of the light changes in the speed column. 1 for the slowest and 10 for the fastest. There are 5 light modes. Click the light mode to switch between them. In single color mode, you can adjust the light to any color, including custom colors. By default, the mouse light turns off when moved, but this can be changed to stay on, but will cause the battery to drain. Okay, this is the tutorial for today. I hope you enjoy Mercury Gaming Mice.